Good afternoon. It's July 15th, time for my mid-July gardening tour. It's uh, 86 degrees at seven o'clock. Uh, it's actually not that bad. So this is the Tithonia. It is over my head now. The bees are happy. Hopefully the birds will be happy with the seeds. The sunflowers are getting big, they're about four feet tall. The grass is very <laughs> luxuriant. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. It, it, it's been very hot here. We've had multiple days of heat. And yesterday it rained a couple of inches in our very heavy afternoon storm. Uh, for some reason, we have barking dogs. Hey, girls. So, yeah, anyway. Uh, okra. Uh, and roselle and more okra. I think there must be cats in the neighbor's yard. Hey. a sleeping bumblebee in the bee bomb which is where sleeping bumblebees should be I think you see it breathing yeah kind of cute all right so the onions uh, don't look great the leeks have gone to seed and the onions whatever yeah N neither of these beds have been very good for me this year and I'm unhappy <laughs> that is something interesting I guess it still could be Cosmo kind of reminds me of the fennel that's over there though how it would gotten over here I have no idea pretty sure that is a tree weed and there's plenty of grass but this is what we did this past week um, we put up another arch trellis here on this bed it's not ideal but it works and these are my volunteer tomatoes which are as you can see starting to make actual fruit there's some on that side too I pulled out all the rest that were in the middle because it was just too much uh, the beets ooh, have the beets need to come out Yeah, they're getting, they're good enough. Yeah, I'll get this one. Probably, they may be too hot and too woody now, I don't know, but probably I'm just gonna pickle them at this point. Let's see how that goes. This is a different variety. Um, looks like there's a few small ones that might, mm, probably won't do anything, but you never know. Anyway, pulling those out, carrying them with me. Volunteer sugar snap peas that never did anything. Um, these peppers are overrun by the <laughs> the monstrous oregano. Um, uh, not seeing anything on these peppers. But so these are the uh, French fillet beans. We did eat them while Joel was here uh, a couple of times. Given that they're bush beans, they're not gonna produce a huge number. Though it seems to me they were more prolific last year than they are this year. Maybe they're too hot here on this because they're on the driveway. Maybe I'll move them, we'll see. Okay, so yeah. Uh, before it rained, that uh, galvanized tub was empty because I had used it to water. And after the rain, it's pretty much full. The um, rain barrel is also full and overflowing when it rains. Uh, the strawberries are doing much better. They still have, have Japanese beetle issues. Um, we're getting ground cherries. And speaking of ground cherries, 
so I had identified this plant, or this stand of plants, many of which I have pulled out as a volunteer ground cherry because I had planted a ground cherry in this bed. Turns out, they're tomatillas. How we got volunteer tomatillas here, I have no idea. But they're here, and we're gonna get some. Uh, these are the Kajari melons. They are doing very nicely. I just wish they would start putting on melons soon, but I haven't seen any yet. So, it'll be a while, I suspect. This is gonna go pretty fast here. Uh, like I said, the ground cherries are dropping. That means they're ready. Here's some more tomatoes that I planted over here. Um, that one is one of the volunteers from the, that I moved from the other side. This is the one that Sue gave me. And these are cucumbers that I planted from seed. And I've got at least one. I had one. Here it is. It's a Parisian pickling cucumber, so it's probably not going to get a hugely a lot bigger than that, but uh, I've been pulling this lettuce out. It's um, the lettuce has this, it hasn't technically bolted to seed yet, but it's very bitter, so not worth eating. This, the zinnias look good. I've been picking a few and bringing them in just for decoration. And here are my glorious blue cocoa beans. Yesterday, I came out right after the rain and picked a big handful. We ate them for dinner. I could pick a few more today if I was so inclined, but it's not gonna be enough for dinner. So I probably won't till tomorrow. By tomorrow, there will be enough for dinner. And here are, are my bitter melons that are growing on the trellis. Here's one, here's the other one. Uh, I gotta cut this tansy back. That's no, that's the only option that's left here. Okay, so here are the shishito peppers. I have picked two dozen, easy. I just don't know what to do with them. That's been a problem. <laughs> Uh, more ground cherries that are volunteers. The dill is going to seed, which means we'll have lots more dill. Uh, I've picked several of these yellow um, ball zucchinis. I've pulled out most of the broccoli. The, slug, the worms are starting to get to it and it's done producing. So I'm gonna try to put something else in here. Uh, there's another bumblebee on the Veronica. And then this is the zucchini, and it can come off. So I might need, yep, there it came off. So that's my, again, I'm the only one that eats them, so I don't need a lot. So that's uh, pretty much it here on this side of the garden, on both sides of the garden. Not a lot to tell you, although we are starting to get food that we can actually eat. So, uh, there are jalapenos on the deck. Oh, here's another cucumber. Yeah. A couple more. Yay. Wish I knew when they get, how big they're gonna get. They're not supposed to be big. So this lighter colored leaf is a, is a white cucumber. And that one, it looks like, there's one right there. Anyway, well that's it. Quick and dirty, down and dirty garden tour. If you have enjoyed this video, short as it is, um, please hit like, um, subscribe if you haven't, leave a comment if you feel so inclined. Thanks for watching.